your readings and salutations relax gamer nation and welcome back to an experiment that i decided to revisit recently uh it has to do with wind turbines and their effectiveness and all that stuff how high can you go how high should you go can you can you put them into a box etc 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 so let's just get into it with the first question can you put a wind turbine in a box? The short answer is no, you can't. I will show you that in a moment because I have a box here and I have a wind turbine in there. Now the top of the box is open, so the wind turbine is has access from up here, but it's not spinning because it needs at least a block of access, if not more. To actually start spinning so if we drop one block okay nothing drop another block nothing drop another block nothing drop another block so we have no wind coming in here because this block here is blocking it so if we open up this area we will start to get some wind it's not a lot of wind but it's an option, I guess. You really want to protect it. Let's bring this up here like that. And it stopped again. And we're going to try something here. Same process. Let's open up this area. See if that does anything. It does not. So what you have to do with a wind turbine in a box is the middle section of the wind turbine has to have as have access to the outside world so if i do this bring this back up it's starting to spin very slowly now let's see what is our turbine running at not 50 154 it is running at 38 38.55 now that is not enough to do much of anything however I have not yet tested this, but if we open up another side, it looks like it's spinning a little faster. 77. Cool, right? Now, if we open up another side, it should spin even faster. Now, this is on the lowest block, lowest possible block on a system. 115. Cool. And next, let's open up this side, and we should get the maximum uh, power out of that at the lowest point. Theoretically. 154.2. Yep, that sounds about right. So, yes, you can, for the most part, put a wind turbine in a box. However, your wind turbine has to be accessible... Uh, on each side to get maximum amount of power. What is the distance? I haven't created a rig for that. But just try and open up this space. I think you can probably get away with about six to eight blocks of, of space between wind turbines and it shouldn't change the effectiveness. So if I put another wind turbine in here, right there, this will probably still spin, but it probably won't, won't be at 154. Let's just check that out. So 120 for the middle turbine and 203 at the end turbine. That's kind of interesting. So this turbine is going faster than that turbine, but they're really close to each other. Decently close to each other anyway. What's going on? Oh, there's a walk in the way. Can we do these in a row? Oh. 
164, 242, 120. So 120, then we have, it goes up a little bit. So the end turbine, which is this one, end in a row, is getting 287. This one is at 242, I'll just say. 287. This one is at 164. And this one is at 120. This is at the lowest possible height to a building. But that's not the only thing. Because turbines going in a vertical direction uh, require more along the lines of vertical space rather than horizontal space, it's distance from the ground. So the ground I have here at about two and a half blocks, I believe. Three and a half blocks, we'll say. Four and a half blocks. So these are about four and a half blocks tall from the ground. Now that, that sounds a little confusing. So I got another rig over there that I will, uh, and I have the field over there and I have these. So I, I did a few things here. So you can, for the most part, put a wind turbine in a box as long as you have one or more sides directly open. You're not gonna get a lot of power out of it, but if you are trying to protect your wind turbine, that's actually a pretty decent way of doing it. So let us go over to here. Let's go over to the field. I am going to bring the light up because I've been doing a lot of stuff. Boop. All right. And I even have storm, storm speeds and stuff like that. So this is approximately two and a half blocks from the ground. Two and a half block tall vertical turbine. The max output on a clear day is 254 kilowatts. I'll show you. We're on a clear day right now. So, we're at 254.75. Wind clearance is good. The highest output, and that's in a heavy wind storm, is 509 kilowatts. That's at two and a half blocks from the ground. Cool. So, I took this and I went a little higher. So, right here we have a three and a half block. That's a four and a half block. This is a three and a half block. <laughs> I should have marked them. Well, I did kind of mark them. But at three and a half block, we have a max output on a clear day, which is right now. In the desert biome, I must state in the desert biome because depending on the biome and depending on how high you are in the biome, it may change. Uh, three and a half blocks tall, vertical output. So 293 kilowatts. That's three and a half blocks from the ground. In a heavy windstorm, which it should have been heavy storm. Heavy storm. There we go. Uh, we're looking at 585 kilowatts. Now, how did I do the heavy windstorm? Well, I went into the admin screen and I went down to a weather and change the weather to sandstorm heavy then click create so as you can see it's really crappy right now and our wind turbine is going at 585.95 kilowatts i believe that is a maximum amount that this wind turbine can put out in a in that type of windstorm a heavy sandstorm. Heavy thunderstorm, on the other hand, I don't think, I think it might be lower. Yeah, 366 kilowatts in a heavy thunderstorm. So, if you are in a desert biome and you get heavy wind on a regular basis, that's what I consider a heavy storm. So let's just remove the weather completely. Because it makes it a little easier to uh, to record. <laughs> so yeah, 293 kilowatts clear on a clear day. 
Next we have our four and a half block tall. So the reason why I'm calling these half blocks is because one, two, three, four, and then the block that's in the ground, I consider a half block. Uh, we are at 318 kilowatts on a clear day, and if we had a heavy storm come through, it would be 636. So I'm, I'm just going to whip through a few of these. You kind of understand what I'm what I'm going on about. This is 5.5 blocks, uh, 350 kilowatts. Then 6.5 blocks, 382 kilowatts. 8.5 uh, blocks, 445 kilowatts. There's no point going any higher than 8.5 blocks because it just gets into diminishing returns. Basically, if I put, let's do a copy of this. Let's go over here. That should be clear enough. Also now the turbine on here. As an example, it doesn't go higher than 445 kilowatts, and I'm at this is at nine and a half blocks right now. So there's no point going any higher than eight blocks. I'm just gonna delete that because it might screw up my numbers because of being too close to something. But yeah, 445 uh, kilowatts, eight and a half blocks. That's probably the tallest you want to get. I have a seven and a half block one and it's 414 kilowatts. So there's about mm, 25, 30 point difference. So there, there's, there's the field here. So if you're just on the field going straight up and stuff like that, etc. So, which brings us over to here. This is a, mm, about equivalent to what? One, two, three, four and a half blocks. And on a uh, base platform. So four and a half blocks and zero block tall on a base platform. We're looking at 328 kilowatts. That's the max output of this little tiny one in the middle. These are all spaced out more than enough to, uh, to uh, work out. So we'll go to one block, 355 for 350 kilowatts. Heavy storm, it's faster, it's about twice as fast. Two blocks, 417 kilowatts. Three blocks, 444 kilowatts. Now we're almost getting to the max here in kilowatts or height. So we're going to go over here. This is four block tall. 445 kilowatts now it doesn't matter if you're four block tall on a base that's about four and a half blocks off the ground or five block tall it's going to be the same 445 kilowatts again six blocks 445 kilowatts seven blocks 445 kilowatts and finally eight blocks 445 kilowatts so it's about the same here so another um, configuration that a lot of people do, including myself, is this. Side-by-side -side horizontal turbines. So this is good uh, for space management because you can actually put these two turbines pretty much right against each other. So that's about six space and get a good amount of power out of it. So we'll check the lowest point here, which is one block off the base ground. Lowest possible sideways turbine on a base platform, which is about four and a half blocks tall. We're getting 194 to 196 kilowatts. So 194, 196, it, uh, it, it's strange how these interact like that, but that's what we get. Because it's not exactly the same. And in a heavy storm, they're barely double the uh, double the speed. So we got the lowest possible sideways turbine, so it's one block tall. Because you 
can't put anything underneath this because turbines are three by three by three blocks. So you have to have at least this height in order to put a turbine sideways. This is one block high, or two blocks tall rather, and it's putting 238 to 240 kilowatts out. Simple, elegant, you can put them side to side, it's not going to really change much. Next we have our four block. Seven block. Here we go. Three block. I put these blocks, put these panels all over the place. This was my first rig that I set up for this, so <laughs> everything's a little crazy, and then it gets a little more optimized as I go. Anyway, so three blocks tall. We're putting out a, up to 298 kilowatts on our clear day, and it goes up to about double that uh, in a stormy in stormy weather. Now, it, it puts in perspe it perspective, I guess, uh, because essentially this turbine on its side has no space on this side. So it's similar to uh, what we have over there with the turbine in a box. But it has plenty of space this way and that way and that way because I got nothing above it. So that's how optimal that can get. So we'll just go through a bunch of these. This is three, four blocks tall. So it's putting out about 345 kilowatts on a clear day. And then we have our five block tall. It's putting out 389 kilowatts on a clear day. Once we get to six block tall, things change slightly. So the six block tall sideways turbine is 430 kilowatts. Now, this is where it gets to a pretty decent average um, speed. Because there was no change between the turbines, these turbines going that way, or rather those turbines going that way. It came out to 430 and some, some numbers. Like... Let's take, for example, let's see, six block tall, so 430, 51, 430, 51. So from here, it barely changes any. So on our seven block, which is this one, it is 440, so it's about 10 fast, 10 more kilowatts than the six block. Then we have our eight block which is right about here which is 445 so now we're only looking at five kilowatts higher and then finally i decided to do a nine block as well and it didn't change it's 445 so the absolute highest on a platform like this now like this means it's got about three and a half to four and a half blocks underneath it about four and a half blocks underneath it is eight blocks so you don't want to go much higher than eight blocks and even then eight blocks might not be good it's 445 yeah it's five kilowatts higher than our six block over here or a seven block over yeah, right here which is 440 and then this is 10 blocks higher than the six block and then it drops a lot more rapidly when we start looking at five block because now we're looking at 389 compared to 430. So in my personal opinion, your opinion may vary, you don't really have to go much higher than six blocks because things just don't change that significantly even in storm stormy weather. So six block 861 kilowatts in of a heavy storm and 880 kilowatts in a heavy storm. So it's about 20 kilowatts difference. Nine blocks, sorry, eight blocks. 890 compared to, what was that? 880, that's only 10 kilowatts difference. So I think if you want to build a base based on turbines, six blocks is probably as high as you wanna go, plus whatever your, your platform is 
height is. So, like I said, this is plat this platform is about four and a half blocks off of the ground, and the ground isn't exactly flat. So, yeah. Wow, that was a that was a long video. At least that's I think it was. But I hope this helped out with some sort of thoughts on how high you can go with turbines. What's the most efficient way of doing turbines? Uh, is it better to do fields like that? Is it better to put it on a platform like that? Can you put a turbine in a box like that? Yes, sort of. <laughs> and then this setup. Now, a lot of people also do things like putting down another turbine on top. Which gives you kind of the best of both worlds of the verticals and the horizontal turbines. So go ahead and do it. It's it's a common practice. Even if you do it upside down, it's not going to change much. <laughs> hey guys, so one other thing that you might have a question of. Can I have wind turbines inside a cave? Yes. Yes, you can. Let's say you are playing super hard mode with... Uh, um, with pirates and uh, uh, corruption and all sorts of mods that make it way more difficult for you to be out in the open like our little base over there. You can definitely do a wind turbine farm inside a voxel, inside a cavern like this. It's probably not going to be as um, efficient as outside, but it still gets you some power. So our wind turbines, they're actually doing pretty good. They're putting out about 350 to 378 kilowatts. And our turbine that's right here is putting out about 470 something. No, 428 kilowatts. So you can definitely um, build a turbine farm inside a cavern. Um, if that's, you're going to need a lot of space and you're probably not going to have a lot of, uh, um, space in between your, uh, buildings, depending on what you did. Now, all I did here was I basically voxel handed into here and I set an explosive, just a medium, uh, regular warhead. And I got a fairly large cavern. Now, a medium war, uh, regular warhead isn't really that expensive when you look at the parts. It's like 10 steel plates, 6 explosives, 2 computers, small steel tubes, structure components, girders, and steel plates. That stuff you can all get at first tier of uh, base construction. So, if you're worried about the AI coming and saying hi and breaking your bases into itty little bitty pieces, be sure build it into a cavern. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say here. Um, so please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you enjoy this kind of stuff, uh, definitely hit that like button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.